Welcome to this demonstration video. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install a backup client. Uh, I branded it Happy Backup. And it could be UAC uh, as a verified publisher for your company, but in this case, I just use our default code signing certificates. So I'm going to accept a license agreement and install the C, C colon program files. And we'll get the software running here. Now, once the software is installed, a registration wizard and initial config. Well, the first thing uh, a user needs to do now is to actually register the software with your backup server. So you have an opportunity here to capture their contact information. Now you'll notice that uh, a default account name was just created based on the email address the user provided, but one could change the account name to be whatever they want. I'm giving myself a password, which is my encryption key, and this tick box is saying that as a user I agree to allow the backup host to help me recover my password in the event that I lose it. If I were subject to HIPAA compliance or concerned about um, the security procedures of my backup host, I could untick, uncheck this box and uh, if I lose my password then I'm out of luck because my backup host could not uh, help me recover it. So what you see here is the, the new account has been registered with the backup server and I am now prompted with some options here the first is whether I would like to have local backups in addition to my remote backups. And I'm going to say yes. And what this means is that when it comes time to restore, I can actually do a restore from my local vault. But if the local vault's not there or some of the files are missing, then the remote backup vault, the backup Windows server, will be contacted. So here, I'm just going to create a vault here on my E drive, and uh, we'll call it local. Now, the software client has created a random backup schedule for me to run at, uh, at what time for the backups to run at. It's randomized to ease um, network traffic on your backup server, but in my case, I want my backups to run at 7 p.m. Uh, on weekdays and uh, 3 p.m., which would be 1500 on weekends. And during uh, weekdays, Monday through Friday, I want uh, my backups to slow down during the day and starting at 8 a.m. The backup client actually is very uh, friendly with bandwidth and CPU, but um, you may find some of your backup clients have very slow bandwidth, uh, perhaps voice over IP, where they have not implemented quality of service. So you can slow down your backups, or in fact, by setting this value to zero, you could have them stop during the workday. So I'm going to click Next here. And uh, I'm prompted here to create some default selections. I can run with the defaults uh, which were created or specified at the white label build time. I can say I don't want any selections now. I'm going to open up the backup client and make them afterwards or use some common selections, such as all the drives that I have mapped on this computer, so network shares perhaps any folders on this computer that I'm sharing with others, or a SQL and users or documented settings folder. In this case, I'm just going to use the default uh, shares from this computer that I share out on my local network. Well, in order to access network shares, the backup service needs to run as a logged in user. The default local system account um, cannot access network shares. so. I'm just going to provide the password for an administrative account here. Uh, so our backup service can run as that user. And the installation is now complete. Um, Happy Backup is now installed on this computer. I want to thank you for watching this demonstration video and uh, just let you know there are many other videos in this series, including how to use this software client. And so please check out our uh, channel on YouTube.